How's it going guys? Nuclear one here, and I'm back with another video. This one's going to be about my cassette collection. Now, I don't have a lot of cassettes. I've only recently started getting into it, and I do collect, you know, vinyl and CD as well. But cassettes, I think I prefer them over CD and vinyl. Maybe not because of the sound quality, but because of the fact that they're very easy to store, and I just like the way they feel and look. Now, most of these I I got from um, uh, little uh, vendors here and there. Not actual record store. The ones I did get, there's a sticker on them, so I'll be able to tell you. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I am going on vacation in a few months, so uh, I'll be going to Goodwill and other and actual other record stores and trying to find some more, and I'm also still at home, so wherever I do go, I'll be sure to update you through YouTube on what other cassettes I got. Now, a lot of these are actually collection tapes, in a way, you know, mixes, and a lot of them are, not a lot of them, but a few of them are uh, Israeli bands. Now, without further ado, let's begin. I'll start with the collection tapes, bring them over, oh, move the camera over here. So the first one is a French one, uh, top to top. It has R.E.M., Pretenders, Billy Idol. There's some good stuff in here. Let's see the back of it. Yeah, there you go. This one's an Israeli collection. It's 60, it says Dream Island. Let's see who do we have on here. Chubby Checker, Connie Francis, The Diamonds, Dusty Springfield, Paul Anka, a couple of good stuff. Springfields. All right. Next one is the hit tape eight. Six, it says in Hebrew, sixty minutes of hit uh, hit songs, or sixteen greats over here. Yeah, Fleetwood Mac, Whitney Houston. Oh, sorry. And we also have Taylor Dane. All sorts of good stuff here as well. Oh, share. And this one's a German one. I think it says Hit Laden. Uh, you Spin Me Round, I think I know that one, or this may be just German songs, I'm not sure. But other, other than that, I did like the blue case for it, but I, I'm going to have to give that a listen. I haven't actually given most of the collection tapes a listen yet. I'll show you some of the Israeli ones. This is Aviv Geffen and The Mistakes. Now It's Cloudy. This is a single. I think it has... Oh, it's not a single, it's an album, sorry. It's got a couple of songs here. If anybody understands Hebrew, then you'll see what that says. This is a single. This is Tipex, Your Life in a Lafa. Or Lafa is basically just so you guys would know, it's a big flat type bread, like a pita type thing. So uh, that's just the name of the album. These are two Israeli folk band. This is two, basically the same band. This is the Givatron. And the Givatron. It's a kind of like a folk collective. I do enjoy folk music, so this is very nice. All right, let's put that over here. I'll no, I'll keep these for the end, so I'll move on to the next stuff. I have greatest hits by Queen. Um, a little bit of sticker residue here. It's got. No, two sides. Both of the sides have great songs. Uh, I don't think it has Radio Gaga. No, it doesn't. That's actually one of my favorite songs. But they do have Under Pressure with David Bowie, and that's a great one. I haven't listened to this yet. I just kind of picked it up because uh, the record store I went to in Tel Aviv had... Um, what was it? like? You can pick up like five tapes for $2 or something. And... Uh, there weren't, like, many good choices, so I just picked up some random artists. So, Michael Brewer, Beauty Lies. I don't really know much about him, but some of his music is kind of nice. This one's a great find from, I found this guy had a little booth in a mall. This is Alive at the BBC, Beatles. It's got a lot of songs here. It's, it's supposed to be another cassette. I didn't know that. But I'm missing it, I think. 
This is just what I found. This was made for sale in the Gulf states. And if you look at, and if you look at inside the cassette itself, I think I just don't want to whip it out. It says uh, made in Saudi Arabia. Here's one of my favorite finds. This is REM, Crush With Eyeliner. It's a single. One side has the song, one side has the instrumental. I am a big fan of REM. Oh, Fell On Black Days by Soundgarden. There you go, that's three songs on it. Fell On Black Days is also really good. All right, we have Great Hits by Frank Sinatra. Let me just do it upside down, sorry. There you go. I got three on here. I think these are, I think this is like an older type of case or older type of cassette, but I'm not sure. This is Elvis. Take a look at what songs we have here. Here's another one. I'm not a fan of like, I think this is, no, sorry. I, I thought it was Christmas songs for whatever. I was about to say I'm not a fan of Christmas songs, but uh, it's not a Christmas thing. It's just, I'm, I'm a big fan of Can't Help Falling in Love. That's a good song. And Are You Lonesome Tonight? That's also pretty good. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, along my three best cassettes, in my opinion, that I own is the David Byron one, the R.E.M., and uh, what was the third one? Christ, it just slipped out of my mind. R.E.M., Oh, and Soundgarden, sorry. This is Uh-Oh by David Byron. He's from The Talking Heads. Uh, let me just make sure it focuses. That's losing focus. There you go. So you can see what's on side one, side two. Here's a, this is John Denver. I am a fan of John Denver, but of course, we have... No, West, uh, oh, Take Me Home Country Road. Oh, it does have it. Sorry, Take Me Home Country Roads. That was, if I remember correctly, on the soundtrack to Fallout. No, no, that was on the trailer to Fallout 76, the much-hated game, uh, the Country Roads Take Me Home. Here's a soundtrack for Mad Max. Soundtrack for that, but the Mel Gibson one. Here are the songs on it. Soundtrack was really good. Now, I haven't actually listened to this because I'm not really a fan of jazz music. I kind of just keep this in case I need to... It's like a test cassette. Although I do like a couple of those. Not a couple, but uh, one or two songs here are pretty good. There you go. Chew Berries, kind of nice. Now, the last cassette I have here, there's a little interesting story about it. I found a metal cassette, you can see that, Metal Master Sony. Now I thought at first, because of what it said on the back, that whoever owned it had a big mix and he had, you know, good vibrations, Nirvana, Prince, Sim Simply, I think that's Simply Red, yeah? And a lot of other, and Red Hot Chili Peppers, of course. So a lot of, oh, R.E.M. See, a lot of good songs here. But when I brought it home and put it in, um, it was just Middle Eastern instrumental music, like, uh, just Mediterranean type music. I'm not saying it out of, it's just not for me. Uh, no lyrics, nothing. And of course there was none of, uh, Nirvana or REM or anything. So it's just cool to have because it's a metal cassette and I do have a double cassette deck. So I may be able to record or mix something up on this. But still, it's kind of nice to own. So these are all. I'll just bring these pile back here. So this is the end of the video. These are all the cassettes that I own. And I will be sure to update you when I do get more. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.